Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to click a button without using click command in Selenium. Let me answer. If you are not going to use a click command in Selenium or for some reasons the Selenium web driver command click is not working, then in that case, we can or we may go with something known as JavaScript executor in Selenium web driver using which we can run the JavaScript code. Okay. And we are going to write the JavaScript code, which is going to click on the button. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to the Eclipse IDE where I'll be writing some sample Selenium automation code. That is a web driver. Driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Okay. And uh, after that, say driver dot manage dot window dot maximize, then driver dot get. I'll give one application URL here in the get command to open the application. So I'll go with this sample application, omai.blogspot.com, paste it here. Once we go here, then uh, we need to click on this, uh, let's say this button, but not using the normal Selenium web driver click command. Okay, rather we'll be running some JavaScript code in the Selenium automation scripts to click on this button. So first, uh, what I will do here is I'll just inspect this button. I just need to locate the button or create a web element for this button by locating it as an ID. Copy this ID and create a web element. Driver dot find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator and say dot click. Okay, once you say dot click, you see if you use this uh, Selenium web driver direct command dot click, it is going to click on this uh, button and you'll get this kind of alert. But the problem here is uh, as per the question, we should not be using the direct Selenium web driver click command. So I have to, I'll simply put a semicolon here without using the click command. Rather, the find element will return you the web element. Okay, that is button element button element, the return type of the find element is web element over the mouse here and say create local variable. Now I will be writing some, okay, code to run the JavaScript. Okay. So for that, uh, I need to typecast the driver. I need to typecast the driver with a JavaScript executor. So here in the circular brackets, write down JavaScript executor. Okay. And uh, here say some, give some name like JSC short form or whatever the name you would like to give for this object or variable. Uh, now say create local variable. Now hover the mouse on JavaScript executor and uh, import it from Selenium library. Now using this object reference, you can call this command that is a script command. Okay, take this command and here you need to write the JavaScript code here in double quotes. And here in the argument place, I'll provide this web element. And this web element is at the index zero as per this command. So arguments of of uh, zero dot click, I'll say arguments of zero dot click. When I do that, uh, when I say arguments of zero dot click, it will click on the button. Okay, this button which is at the zero. If you have multiple elements, right, you can put a comma here. This will be zero, that will be one, two, and so on. Since it is at the zero location, we'll say arguments of zero dot click. This is the first argument, so zero at the index position. Okay, so. Using the JavaScript click command, we are clicking rather than using the Selenium web driver click command. Let's see whether this script is working or not. If it is working, we'll get the alert displayed. Okay. If that particular button on that, uh, this omai.dosper.com application is clicked, you'll get an alert on the page that proves the button has been clicked. So without using the general click command of Selenium web driver library, we are able to click on this. Okay, the button and we got this alert. This button has been clicked with the help of JavaScript click command rather than Selenium web driver click command. So this is an alternative way. Okay. And if you get this kind of question, give this uh, thing. Okay. Using JavaScript executor, we can do that. Okay. And uh, this is the code. So if you want the code and get you the code also, copy this and uh, space it here. That's it. You get the code. Done guys. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.